Yo, what's going on? Don't flop on fucking day. You know the score at Don't Flop on the Twitter at Twitter on myself. This is Don't Flop Berlin, the second Germany versus England battle of the night. Berlin, make some noise one time! Back home, all over the UK and all across the globe as well. It's our first ever time taking Don't Flop to Berlin, Germany, any of that shit. Shouts to Jolly J and don't let the label you every single time for letting us come out. Alright, English vs German battle number two of the evening. MC on my right hand side making his debut in Berlin from London. Make some noise for Mr. Tongue Twister. Let's go! And uh, MC on my left hand side representing Germany, first ever time doing a battle in English, so much respect to that. Make some noise for Brian Damage, let's go! <laughs> No judges can be flown all the way out, so we're letting you decide who you think won. Please make sure you leave a comment on the YouTube and on the forum as well. We flipped off camera. Twist won the flip. He chose Brian Damis to go first. So if we can get quiet in the room, everybody, it's round number one on Brian. Let's go. Yo! Can you meet him? Yeah! That's not fair. <laughs> I was very scared when Jolly J said I should battle in English. <laughs> I thought to myself, I never can win this, because my level of skills is very diminished. So I entered the course to level up with it, but first we had to distinguish between the accent we're picking, and when the lesson was finished, I chose American English because it's better than British. <laughs> Corny tunes and more to prove. When I poorly lose, I can still blame it on my English. But what the fuck is your excuse? <laughs> Seriously, when Jolly J confront the matchup, I was like, that is sweet, because apparently Ali G has agreed to battle me. <laughs> you look alike so much that every time he's busting the whack rhyme, he ends his line with Booyakasha. Massive respect, right? <laughs> This faker called Chris Taylor, who's getting hurt today. He's known for making jokes by saying slurs on stage. You're not entertaining a crowd, only playing a clown in a disturbing way. So you're the exact type of English rapper Ali G tried to impersonate. You want to be a prankster getting hysterical after, but you make people angry with that embarrassing tactic. You're no comedian, Taylor. That's just terrible acting, because you're even faker than my American accent. <laughs> yeah. Me? I'm very attractive, thanks to my mantis. <laughs> you? look like a heroin addict after having injected. <laughs> Seriously, you're so skinny, you look like fucking Beetlejuice after a disease or two. <laughs> you're so skinny, I don't need to cover my eyes to play peekaboo or hide and seek with you. You're so skinny, I can barely see this dude. You're so skinny, even kids from Africa would share their meal with you. <laughs> Probably a needle too. <laughs> Your alien shape makes me wonder. Do you gain any weight after supper? His mom used to hang up the laundry line in the backyard so he could play in the shade during summer. <laughs> you look like fucking cake moss after a weight loss. <laughs> Whenever there's a fresh breeze coming, he spreads his arms and says, Ready for takeoff! <laughs> You're skinny, it's true, but you're not gonna win this, you fool. Because your chances of taking the W are even slimmer than you. <laughs> this Brit's gonna lose, I'll beat this worm down. He came here to make Ur proud, but I'm gonna send him back to his birth town. You're on my turf now, it probably hurts now when I get the word out, but it's just like the World Cup, because this English gonna fly back home after the first round. <laughs> Okay. How many times you won the World Cup? Four? 
Well done. How many times you won a world war? <laughs> I just want to say thanks to R and Jolly J. Not for my opponent, what's his name, I just want to say thanks for the fact that I got on a plane accommodation and free holiday. Drop the say. And yo, you see Brian likes riding his motorcycle whilst wearing a velvet bong listening to a well good song by Elton John. <laughs> but one day he had an accident and he didn't have his helmet on, that's why Brian's got brain damage and that's why he spelt it wrong. <laughs> so when I start to diss you, that's only half the issue. The AI ain't right, your intelligence is artificial. <laughs> And you know in The Simpsons, there's that fat foreign exchange student called Uta, yeah? That's him in the future. <laughs> yo, yo! And I'll, and I'll hold up, I'll whip ya, till you want me to stop it, and you'll be saying, don't make me run, I'm full of chocolate! <laughs> See, I've got a coldest of rhyme schemes that allow him choking and trying to breathe like he's choking on ice cream. Brian Freeze. <laughs> See, I was checking out one of your battles. I was checking out one of your battles just to watch you perform. And I was properly torn because it had caused a row between me and my girl. And what was it for? Well, when I was doing my research, what she heard when she stopped at the door was, That's his good job! And she obviously thought I was watching some porn. <laughs> You see, I don't care if you can speak English or speak German when you're doing a track. You're still ruining rap. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can, speak free I can speak freestyle when I'm fluent in that. Fuck it, I'll take a pull on your flag and wave my union jack. The family guy bars are straight fucking whack. I rate none of that. This isn't a cartoon. If Brian gets killed, fate's a bloody black and he ain't coming back. <laughs> Yo, he talked about the world war while you get buried yourself. You are proudly English, and you couldn't win the world war without an American's help. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tongue Twister is a bomb licker. Because <laughs> every time he twists his tongue, it's, well, in a bomb. <laughs> Mr. Tongue Twister, a good rapper, is something you aren't. Like your mom's sister. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I listened to your music, even downloaded a couple tracks, bitch. Your flow was whack and you only rap obnoxious whack shit. And it was such a bad mix, not even your double tracks fit. So why do you call yourself Tongue Twister when you can't even do a proper ad-lib? As whack as it sounds, I have a doubt you'll never come out. Your career got smashed on the ground cause you're back where it counts. And after this, you won't play any gigs cause they hate on you Chris. So technically, battling me now is gonna be the first and the last time that you are going to rap for a crowd. <laughs> but, but, wait. He actually had a couple of gigs. Mostly it was freestyling, right? Your songs make fun of being a rapper. The comedian type. <laughs> They're a rap parody, still you entered a rap battle league to get some serious hype. So the twist is, that twist is, making fun of the only thing that gave him a real meaning in life. Ooh. Woo! Ooh. You write bars like... Uh, I killed your girlfriend. That's how I'll make your princess die. <laughs> You think I'm as stupid as these Americans to use such lame bars? Nah. I got fame bars that leave your face scarred. And I kind of feel like Diana now, because I mess around, get blinded by tunnel vision, and hit the road, it's like I betrayed Charles. Scratch that. I said I mess around, got blinded by tunnel vision, and hit the road, it's like I beat Ray Charles. <laughs> I need to give you this tutorial on how to write great bars. Because whenever you try some wordplay, the only thing I can think of is Facebook. <laughs> how do you expect people to fill a line when you fill a line with fill a lines? I had four bodies in a row. You're only here to fill a line because you're a walking fill a line. I Come to take your silly life, you're running late, the win is mine, my punches make your minutes fly, so they are another way for killing time. Yo, 
Carl, you have got really silly flows. You said you had four bodies in a row. Well, it looks like you've got four bodies in those clothes. <laughs> A show of hands for Brian Damage. I'm surprised you even show up hands for saying you're right of passage. Your words will make me throw up hands like sign language because I'm a fucking savage. Then he'll throw up hands because I've got sick punches, knuckle sandwich. Yeah. And you soon, you might just think that I'm a guy from Hersham. And you might just think that my life is perfect. But if you knew the way where my mind was working, you might just swerve it. It's quite disturbing. You definitely don't want to know where I've been lurking. I knew I would murk him and put brains on the floor like a shy as a surgeon. And seeing as I'm in Berlin, I'm a stereotype, this German. Do you know why this vermin will die a virgin? Your whole life you've been hiding behind that Brian Curtain. <laughs> and this is slightly urgent. I'm determined and I am certain you're not the violent version. You're just a nice guy hiding inside a person like Heisenberg or Tyler Durden. Mm. And yo, like Heisenberg or Tyler Durden. And you remember on Facebook, there was that message sent when you said, should we keep it at 90 seconds or 120 sex? But I bet you wish that you never said, let's just keep it at 90 seconds soon as you haven't accepted my friend request. <laughs> what a fucking beg! Is that true? Yes, correct. And it doesn't matter if it's 90 seconds or 120 sex, I'm still putting in 110%. And remember when you battled at one of the best events when you went against Mighty P and what you mentioned next gets me vexed. Mighty P's father had died and you thought you had some clever text. No, you failed every test. So, in retrospect, you recollect and then regret mentioning anyone when they're dead. If you don't let them rest or you can't resurrect, you will never get respect. Yeah. I'm about to do a freestyle. I spat those lines and I got mighty P's respect for these lines, so fuck you. <laughs> Yo, has anyone noticed how massive his nose is? When I say pop the trunk, I mean that yellow wolf jam. When he says pop the trunk, it's because you got a nose like the elephant man. <laughs> Yo, it's such a mighty beat, it covers your face up entirely. And even climbers need like five whole weeks when they try to reach its highest peak. And I believe it has a own family, lion and tree. Because right now, even Jolly J's nose is like, finally, <laughs> daddy's spending time with me. He's a vicious MC who leaves battlers flat after. You got such a long nose, you could battle a smack rapper. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking nose joke, his grown nose is probably good for doing coke though. So I ain't talking about rapping when I say your lines are a low blow. <laughs> but enough about you, let's talk about me. <laughs> I'm so German, I enter a club in sandals and socks. I'm so German, I'm even wearing a sock when I'm wanking my cock. <laughs> I'm so German, every time I see a woman I want to seek out, I tell her she's mine by wrapping her into my beach towel. I'm so German, my favorite movie, Downfall. And I'm always in a hurry. Slow it down. Now fuck that. I got no time for slow it down bars. Because I'm so German in every fucking way. I won't even go jogging at night, because I'm never running late. <laughs> Height, very polite, uber considerate, super political. So, what else you got on me besides these stereotypes? No. And if you want to talk about my heritage, I draw the line like Aerosmith. I don't like cocky quotes because Nazi jokes are more than just embarrassing. I know it was the Germans who abused God's power, killing Jews in hot showers, but my grandpa died in a concentration camp too. He was drunk and fell off a watchtower. <laughs> Me being 
part of an evil Nazi regime when all of your peeps still follow a queen. England sucks! And it's hard to believe you still have monarchy G. Monarchy G. I rip the Magna Carta in pieces, punch Prince Charles in his teeth, and bring your Commonwealth King. Fuck the Arsenal team and your cocky beliefs. Fuck the Stones, the Spice Girls, and all of the Beatles. <laughs> John is a freak, James Bond isn't real For crumpets and tea or bubble and squeak I'll have your mom on her knees with my bratwurst to eat Till she hardly can read yelling GOD SAVE THE QUEEN! Soft, I'll just say, fuck David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's Mr. Tongue Twister versus little young Hitler. <laughs> AKA Brian Damage. Okay, that's my challenge. They said don't mention the war. Why? You're gonna cry, faggot. <laughs> They said if you won the war, we'd be speaking German. Yeah, that might happen. How would I manage? But now I'm in your country and you're speaking my language. <laughs> heavy in that. I don't mean he's heavy in fact, I'm just taking a piss and saying that this fella is fat. Because when you look like this, and you're wearing a hat, you look like Family Guy's Chris if he was daring a rap and had the voice of the fish from American Dad. <laughs> bro, bro, you could never be at the level of man. You never have spat an intelligent rap. You need to start accepting the fact as bread as a fat. You said I have a big nose, and I definitely have. <laughs> but you forgot mentioning that I have an impeccable beard and incredible tash. <laughs> I have an impeccable beard and incredible tash. I may look Jewish, but I'm not. I could never be that, because this German ain't getting me gas. <laughs> Clever. George wrote him a fan letter saying, Yeah, I'm a bad brother, let's do a track together. I'll show you my track. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and the song goes, I like the salt, I like the pe What the fuck? <laughs>
I was very scared when Jolly J said I should battle in English. <laughs> Myself, I never can win this because my level of skills is very diminished. <laughs> so I entered the course to level up with it, but first we had to distinguish between the accent we're picking and when the lesson was finished, I chose American English because it's better than.